<laughs> I want to make another video about Google Plus before I inevitably become a channel that is a front for Australian propaganda. I fear it's too late because the Empire of the Black Swan will live a thousand years on. But I'll try nonetheless. Although the social media doesn't exist in any digestible form anymore, not that it was as digestible as an uncut capsicum before, I want to provide a highlight of some of the more famous characters in my mind in that site. The biggest difficulty in doing this video was to present it in a way that was somehow allowed on YouTube and also wouldn't immediately get me kicked from my town. This was very difficult. So here is the four types of Google Plus users epitomised. Dinner the Fossil Fighter. There is no character that is a greater mystery than Dinner the Fossil Fighter. The, the inner workings of their mind are a confusion even to the most veteran of internet users. The inner workings of Dinner's mind is more confusing than that of the colonial era Tasmanian man who thought the best way to escape a wall of angry kangaroo dogs was to dress up as a kangaroo. Tempest. Tempest represents those people on the internet that are just plain f***ed up. Their brain is like a flood infected halo. If it were so easy, to purge their brain, like purging all life in the universe in Halo, it might be possible for them to set foot in a slightly more mainstream and PC website, like HM. Still, people like Tempest, the internet wouldn't be the same without them. They are very, they are lovable in some weird reverse psychology of human decency. Metallica Dash. If your internet circles didn't at least have one death metal brain, then I'm sorry, but you've been robbed of your adolescence. If your internet experience didn't at least have one death metal brony, then you'd be like those Argonians from Elder Scrolls who never got into contact with the Hist. They are professional shit posters. Somehow too tame for the obscure internet, but way too hot for mainstream internet. They extremely furry and probably hates Tumblr in spite of being the perfect fit for Tumblr. But they at some point would have made their own copy passes that is too tame for the obscure internet but way too hot for Reddit. And yet they somehow have lots of karma there. The Red Spa. You know what to yell when you need memes. This is the myth, the legend, the Mark McGowan of the internet. Loved by everyone, yet still somehow is able to say whatever is on his mind. This is your main source of memes, and probably the only true source of happiness on all of the internet. The rest being a cheap dopamine hit, or what I imagine hard hallucinogens would feel like. It is most likely that the Lee Red Spies of the internet are also the meme moderators of one of the major meme communities in whatever internet site you're using, and in spite of Trotsky-like proficiency in moderating, is still loved by everyone. If people like Lee Red Spy aren't the world leaders in the future signing peace documents, then this earth shall be guaranteed to fall into at least another thousand years of darkness and despair. These people have been a forming factor in my style of humour. I'm sure that if you were the one who grazed on the obscure parts of the internet as well, that that would have been an important aspect of your humour as well. I think that we should celebrate people like this while we still can, because, you know, one day you have to move on, and then it's just important to appreciate that period in one's life where those weird, unusual aspects of existence are the main parts of your life. Enjoy it while you can.